Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of District Insider, a half an hour dedicated to showing off the great people and events happening in the Bethlehem Area School District. I'm this month's host, Colby Robertson from Liberty High School. In this month's edition, we'll be going behind the scenes and checking out a school's play preparation from beginning to end. And after that, we'll watch some special athletes hit the court. First, let's check out one of the district's great elementary schools, Buchanan Elementary. So what I love about James Buchanan is there's a real sense of school pride. Um, each and every student here feels valued, respected, and welcome. Um, all of the teachers and staff really take the time to find each child's strengths and needs and really encourages them to really push hard and do their best in all of their work. Um, there's a strong sense of parent involvement and community here and just overall I know no matter where our children's future takes them, I know their path to success started here at James Buchanan. What I love about James Buchanan is that it has a wonderful principal who really knows all the kids by name and it has teachers, some of whom are really seasoned and have been working here for years and others who've just started and are really enthusiastic. So our daughter's really getting a wonderful education. I love James Buchanan because it's such a dynamic community. You walk in the door and there's so much positive energy. You can tell that the kids are so happy to be here, that they're learning so much, and that every single person in the community is really committed to making this the most wonderful place to be. There's a million things I love about Buchanan, but mostly I love that it feels like our family and my kids feel really good here. I love that parents have so many opportunities to come in and be a part of things with their kids. Our kids are friendly and they are very kind and warm and they're welcoming. Uh, we have a really diverse population of kids here so they really tend to accept each other and get along really well. I think the kids here, uh, they work really hard, they want to do well in school. I think the biggest thing that I notice is that they are extremely friendly with each other. They want to welcome all the students that come in. I have several new students here at Buchanan and the kids that have been here for a really long time, welcome them. They feel, you would never know that they were new. They all just fit in and it's like one big happy family. At James Buchanan, we take pride in our wonderful students, staff, and family. Believing that working together, we will make a difference. And every day, we try to remember to be respectful, be responsible, and be ready to learn. Be a bulldog. Rock. That's another great gem of a school we have here in the BASD. March 2nd was the final show of Northeast Middle School Theater Company's production of The Lion King Jr. Our camera started rolling back in December to see what goes into a show of that scale. You need to get this gold form. You're going to put your first and last name and grade. That's it. You don't need to fill it out. Okay? First and last name and grade. You're good. First and last name, grade, if it's your first day auditioning. If you already auditioned, we already have yours, no problem. There it is. Um, Northeast is, is a wonderful setting. We're, we're a microcosm of Bethlehem. Um, we, do, we are a school-wide title setting, which has its challenges, but you would never know it walking through the halls of Northeast. Um, our children are alive with, with smiles and laughter. Um, and, you know, we, we truly bring together the city of Bethlehem in, in, in the most glorious ways. Our, our theater department has such talented individuals at its, at its lead, and they bring out the best in our children. Um, we, we, we are all inclusive. Any child that wants to perform, performs. Any child that wants to participate, participates. And it's tremendous. Um, we, have a, we have a host of parents. That, that, that bring about a support for those children, um, regardless if they're theirs or if their children are even in the play. 
um, or in the performances, which is wonderful. We also, you know, bring, a, bring across not just our, our productions, um, all sorts of talent shows throughout the year. And it, it truly is a place where children that may not be athletically inclined or academically inclined can find their niche and truly brings that out in each and every child. So, so all right, like here, and we do the first one, one, two, it makes it so much easier when the kids are eager, they're willing to do anything you want them, you know, we, we, we push their boundaries of what they're comfortable with, dancing-wise, movement-wise, and they're ready for it. They love it. And there we go. Ready? One, two, hit, go. Ba, ba, be, ba, 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 ba. It's January 5th, 2019, and we have our first Saturday rehearsal of the year, which is very exciting. Uh, in our first hour, we're doing our lioness hunt, which is probably the most technically difficult dance because it's Broadway-style choreography um, that a lot of these, in a style that a lot of these students have never danced before, um, but they're absolutely incredible. You know, they put an incredible hour of work. We're going to send them away, and they're going to uh, work on it themselves and work on it even more, so... dances no in school <laughs> no fortnight dances during i just can't wait to be kids <laughs> My name is Jody Johnson and I am the lead costume mom. I've been doing costumes here at Northeast for seven years. This is my seventh year. Um, this production is much different than any other production that we have had um, because we can't repurpose anything that we have. All costumes are being completely made from scratch to fit each child. Um, it's not like we can go to a thrift store and buy a lioness costume. Um, we've been spending hundreds of hours beading for the corsets. I think this is going to be a production uh, unlike any that have been happening in the Bethel Mary School District. At least that's my hope. <laughs>
I think we're on, on the clock. We're doing pretty well so far. I feel like the combinations of kids and groupings that we have are moving at a really great pace. And part of it is because the kids are really enthusiastic about it and they want to be the best that they can be. One of the things I find this year, and this it's been very visible this year, is that we have high achieving kids that have high levels of stress. And sometimes the stress can really get to them. So you find yourself not only being the teacher, but a mom and kind of like a counselor, just checking in and making sure that the kids are okay. Because I don't want to add more stress to their plates because that's not fair to them. So it's, it's those kinds of things. B behavior, not a problem. The kids, I think, understand the gravity of this show and what the subject matter is, and they, don't, they understand what the appropriate responses are. And in the world of dealing with trauma sensitivity and being sensitive to the kids, I just worry that the kids are okay, that they're making the friends, making the relationships. So those are the things I worry about. Memorizing lines, nope, they've got it. Movement, they're not afraid to do it. So it's the kid that I worry about. It's a very visual show and it's not done by set pieces, it's done by costumes and things like that. And our costumers and, and our art teachers here have been so incredible in creating the visuals for this show. It's been really, really remarkable. Yeah, there are a lot of different challenges with Lion King. They're, they all have challenges, but this one has a whole lot more of one thing in that there's a lot of 3D that needs to be filled. A lot of the other plays tend to have 3D things that need to be made, props, big set pieces, small set pieces, but then a lot of scenery. There's really not a whole lot of scenery in here. It really starts in October. We put it out there, whoever's interested, they sign up, and we start building whatever we think is going to be the most time-consuming, and we do the design work. Uh, there's another art teacher involved. Her name is Deanna Corhammer. We both come up with ideas. We get all the supplies. And then we, sh we build a model and we show them. It's really driven by both of us. Like we'll come up with the ideas and they execute it out by an example, just as if it's an art project. And they're the powerhouse behind it. They're the ones that make everything. And we just are there to show them how to do it. But I have kids in the wood shop right now sawing wood because the woodshop teachers showed them how to do that and they, they're good at it. So everybody has a strength and whatever they're good at, that's what they do. Some kids are really good at building, but they hate to paint. They'd rather, they'd rather be 3D and build. Some kids are wonderful at painting, so wherever they feel the best, that's what they do. Do you think you'll finish it now? I was here until 10, 8 o'clock last night, so yes. <laughs> they will finish in time. We have, we have three weeks and we're three-fourths finished. So we'll get it done. No problem. So can you smile? A genuine smile. You're actors and actresses. Can you smile? What was something nice that happened to you today? Amen to that. God said he woke up breathing. I'm so thrilled for that. There was so much involved with it, with the costuming aspect. I mean, 
these costumes are individually made for these mm -hmm. kids. The love and care and thought process that went into that was simply incredible. Our stage crew, I mean, the, the children are the props, so the simplistic stage is beautified by the kids. Mm -hmm. It's really been a cross-section of, typically you have costumes working on costumes, you have stage crew working on our sets, and it's been such an intermingling where since the students are the props, stage crew makes some of the props, they make the head pieces of the grasslands while the costumers make the skirts and the corsets. It's been a really neat cross-section. And I think the basic challenge of doing the show is how do you take an animated film of all animal roles and you put it on the stage with students playing these parts played as animals. So it was literally from day one, not only are we teaching them how to sing and dance and, and be on the stage, but teaching them how to move like a giraffe, mm -hmm. how to move like a lioness. Mm -hmm. It was the basics of this is how you walk as your, as right. your animal. So it was taking steps backward, you know, starting a little bit further back than we normally would because we really had to get into the nitty gritty basics of how do I carry myself on the stage, not as a person, but as an animal. Theater transforms kids and they can experience things and be successful in a very different and positive environment. Kids grow from experiences like this and um, what makes Northeast so special in the time that I've been here is that we focus on the whole kid. So there are parents, the community that focuses on the kid, the school district from the top down that understands the theater programs are alive here because of the support. That's the kind of stuff that kids need. They need to feel loved and embraced by their fellow students and by the people, the adults that lead them. And we hope that we nurture that. These kids will remember this. We do it for kids. I say it over and over again, it sounds corny. I love coming to work every day and it's because of these kids. They're not here to see us, <laughs> they're here to see the kids. And to see a young man who wouldn't dare come up here but yet let us into his world and let him feel safe, you, you, can't, you can't beat it. It's a simple answer. It's for kids, we do it for kids. There was one point, it was a few, year, few years ago, there was a girl backstage here. One of our moms was combing her hair and the girl started to well up in tears. Now, honey, what's the matter? Is everything okay? My mom doesn't comb my hair. I feel beautiful right now. And that's why you do it. Take them someplace else. It's the kids, the kids, they're amazing. And they trust us. Yeah. And they can do so much. Oh, and God, if yes. we can be the ones to, you know, yes. if we can be the ones to bring that out of them, the Heck little yeah. nudge. Heck yeah. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. she'll, she'll be the energy one and I'll be the silent one getting in there. <laughs> That's right. The frickin' crack. The yin and yang. That's it. Absolutely. But it works. <laughs>
and yesterday was awesome. Today is going to be incredible. Today is going to be incredible. Don't leave that stage today saying, I could have done more, right? It is day one. We have five performances for our eighth graders especially. Do not go through this week with your head down and lift your head up Saturday and it's over. Enjoy every single moment that you have with each other because this group is a special, special group. Not anybody can put on this show the way that you guys are doing. You are about to kick some major butt out there. It is gonna be so incredible to see. Right, we're gonna project, we're gonna slow down our lines. Today's also the first day you're gonna have an audience. You're gonna get laughter, you're gonna get applause. People are probably gonna be crying at some points because it, you guys are an incredibly emotional <laughs> cast and can do this, handle this with maturity. So I thank you guys for everything these past couple of months and I cannot wait to get these shows started. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. Give yourself a round of applause. Give stage crew a round of applause. And to all the parent volunteers that are here as well, give them a round of applause. what today? Congratulations to all the students at Northeast Middle School and to all of our theater programs across the BASD on another successful season. Your talent level is amazing. Next, we go from the arts on to athletics, where a very special event happened in February where athletics from all over Northampton County met up at Freedom High School. Next on our show, all four middle schools have had teams of students working on a special video called What's So Cool About Manufacturing? Every school was paired up with a manufacturing company from around the area. Let's take a look at the great videos those students produced. What do you think Bosch Rexra makes? What I category? don't really know. This is just Bosch. Bosch Rexra is a facility Rexra, so they do drive and control technology. Oh, it's right here in Bethlehem. Let's go. Okay. Bosch Rexroth has influenced manufacturing since 1967. They are innovators of machinery, devices, packaging, technology, and more. So Bosch Rexroth helps impact society by making things move, whether it's by sea, for example, the Panama Canal project, by land, a great example is a roller coaster thrill ride, or even by air. We have uh, worked on projects that support launching rockets into space. Rex Roth produces a variety of valves, engineered by innovators who spend their time thinking of new ideas and ways to improve the quality and efficiency of the assembly line. We have projects that we work on over a longer period of time, so we might have you know, three months that we want to finish this project in. So I spend some time devoted to these types of projects that are uh, we call them CIP or continuous improvement projects um, and those are following um, an overall structure that kind of dictates what we prioritize as the most important things to do. 
Other employees at the facility are the Manufacturing Blind staff who turn the engineer's ideas into real products. We do approximately 1,349 variations of valves um, that I have learned throughout the years. It's a matter of organizing the orders in retrospect to the tooling, uh, to the type, to the family in which the, the valves fall in. Employees at Bosch Rexroth have varied levels of education, which allow them to operate different parts of the facility. The various education levels required start at an entry level with a high school diploma and can include up to a master's degree to run and manage the manufacturing line. If you stop and look around you, whether you're in an amusement park, riding through a canal on a cruise ship, or about to be launched into outer space, Bosch Rexroth has you covered. Thank, Thank you, you, Bosch, Bosch Rexroth. Uh, students, please take out your homework. <laughs> wow, you are an organized student. You have a bright career ahead of you. For more than 40 years, Stanley Vidmar has meant one thing to customers around the world heavy-duty organization and storage solutions for heavy-duty applications. The receiving department starts off with quality metals in huge rolls or large sheets to be fed into the machines. To make commonly used parts that are used in many different storage units, this machine cuts, presses, and bends the metal in just seconds. In this case, a computer-guided laser cut steel sheets with extreme accuracy for custom products. Other machines cut and punch shapes out of thick sheets of metal effortlessly. Throughout the process, workers check to make sure the machinery is working properly. Many cabinets need a human's touch to bend, weld, or refine parts that robotic machines just can't do. After some final touches and inspection, the storage units are ready to ship and help organize the consumer's workspace for years to come. The materials aren't the only things that are of the highest quality around Stanley Vidmar. It's the employees that make it all come together. I was always into uh, mechanical things. I was into aircraft, uh, automobiles, fixing cars. So I learned a lot about mechanics and mechanical things and how machines worked before I even went to school for engineering. My career path in high school was basically design. Uh, that kind of delve into packaging design eventually. Uh, there'll be a lot of growth. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for this month's edition of District Insider. We'll be back next month with more people and events to showcase from around the BASD. In the meantime, you can check out the BASD TV channel on your local cable outlet for all things BASD 24-7. I'm Colby Robertson from Liberty High School. See you later.